why don't you, do you want to just introduce like a little bit about the tent and just talk about it, like in the process? Right, sure. So this is our pre-production model. Uh, the models that you guys will receive will have a full cover over this rain fly. So when you attach your annex, it's going to be fully enclosed, not have this wide open window. Okay. Um, what's interesting about our tents is that they're fully blackout material on the inside. So when you're cl uh, up in there during the day and fully closed in, it's completely, completely pitch black. Additionally, they all come with um, this. Uh, what's it called? Oh condensation mat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Anti-condensation mat. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that just keep, gives you an extra layer of air in between the mattress and the, the floor so you don't have mold build up and stuff like that. Um, to start, I like to bring these down and then undo these just because when they're bunched up like this, when the tent closes, sometimes it gets caught in the weather stripping. It just makes it easier. And then I just like to lay those flat. This is our awning mount. Okay. And then you don't have to zip this up, but you can. I like to just velcro it on either side. It's just sure. much easier that way. Same thing on the other side. Alright. And then you just want to make sure that you lay the poles in horizontally so when the folding part comes up it doesn't bend and snap the poles. Okay, that's a good tip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had some people put them in like that and then they puncture the mattress or something like right. that. have to take out these front rain fly poles and again this is the pre-production model on your guys's there will be a um, canvas pouch so you won't have these metal eyelets that pull and stretch the fabric anymore okay. from there on the inside you just want to Collapse this pole right here. So you have one strap right here. Okay. And then same thing on the other side. And then this bar just slides nicely back. And then we have a nice little uh, bungee that kind of just helps bring everything together. And then on the it's gonna be this and it goes straight across okay and it just kind of pinches these cheeks in away from the uh, the fabric gotcha They have a ladder installed right here. Yep. We just don't have one on the um on the pre-production. Then bring this down. And then also you will have a handle on yours instead of a bracket. And then I like to kind of slowly go down and then come back up just to release some of the air. Yep. And then from there, I just kind of karate chop from the sides. Bring all the fabric in. And then it's just these two clips on either side, but like the demo only has one. Gotcha. <laughs> and how much pressure are you using? You can just, yeah, okay. so you just gotta give it a very little amount. Yeah. 
then yeah. what do you and think? You can literally just throw that over the back. Oh. Yeah. And that just stays out when yep. you're... And then with the aluminum casing, you don't have to worry cracking an ABS shell. Which is why we're that. going that direction. Yep. 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 And then from here, so usually with the ladder, I like to fully oh, yeah. extend it, and then from the side of the truck, kind of use it as a leverage point. Okay. But your arms aren't long enough, probably, Mister. Yeah. So. Yeah. Passes right there. And then we'd set the ladder at that point to make sure it's yep. it's good, right? Yeah. Uh, so this is freestanding. Okay. But the ladder. But can be for helpful. longevity, sure. you want to use the ladder okay. just to make sure the product lasts a long time. That's good to know. And then so on the side here, you'll we'll see that there's two channels. You want to go through that bottom one and then underneath with this. Yep. Under yep. yep. And then in the actual ones that you guys will be getting, we loosen this uh, bungee up a little bit. Okay. Because we noticed over time it, it gets really tight. Real tight. Gotcha. So just to have that extra plate to begin with helps out. Okay. And then from there, you have that bar on the inside. So you just want to pull that out towards you. This one? Yep. So it's kind of like a. Oh, hold yeah. up. Okay. Up and out. Okay. And then this is like uh, the bicycle seat steps. So you just go like that to close it. And then. And then like that, you're done. So this is how I sleep um, on the camp, or not on the camp, uh, on the roadside, when I'm traveling across the country. I don't bother putting the poles sure. in or anything. Sure. I'll just pull over, do that, and then go to sleep. Yeah. But for the full, for the full setup, you take your poles, which will come in a ladder or a pull bag. Are they all um, the same same poles or yep, the or they're all the same length? And then on the actual production ones, all of them will be powder coated. Okay. And nice. then at the end here, it will be a flat tip. Okay. Instead of that curved, so it it'll sit in there way better and not jiggle right. out on you with wind or something like that. Gotcha. This part I'd be interested to see if you can do. Because you gotta bend that pole. Yeah, so you just wanna make sure that the elbow stays away from you. Okay. So point it down yeah. and then just do that top one. I will say it's it's easier from the 10. To do it? Yeah. Do you have leverage going back? Mm -hmm. And I like to just like from here, I'll just slide my hand up it, and that kind of just bends All it. Yeah. So we'll see if I can. So yeah, I'll just go like this, yeah. and then hold it with one hand. Just go like that, and yeah, it's way easier than <laughs> trying to fight it from. I've tried to put the ladder around yeah. and everything, and it's really annoying. Same thing for the other ones, try to do it from inside, it's gonna be easier to bend them. Oh, yeah, yeah. 100%. That's pretty easy. Yeah, because then you can just like use your thumb and guide it into the, right. to the pocket. Because again, you Ooh. get a full come with the. Yeah.